Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you're joining me here once again in Computer Tycoon, where, well, actually it's very sad news. Although the world look, does look very purple, there are a few of these green countries here, which are IBN. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and the occasional brown, which is uh, big and blue, her massive modules. Yes, people are snipping away, nibbling away at my market share. I used to have over 90%, quite briefly to be honest, I had over 90% of the market share. And I'm down now to just over 86.5%. That, that's just not good enough, is it, really? I, there are a couple more countries I can go into, I think. Uh, if we look at the country list here. Uh, so we want to go unused and not the communist ones actually if i do just the open markets oh actually there are quite a few countries i could go into uh, are any of them of any significant size nepal oh and nicaragua oh there are a few multi-million population countries okay three well, three's a few, isn't it? For, for the moment, yeah, in a few years' time, then these larger communist countries should open up. So on the assumption that I haven't dominated the world and blown the opposition out of the water by then, which is possible, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we're in uh, August, uh, no, September 1985. And so it's possible I can get there. Look, oh, heck. 85% of the market share. Let's have a look. Uh, we've uh, got a lot of new technology to play with now. But if we look at this, our sales, this was last, this is, mm, this is kind of this year. Yeah, PCs are really taking off. Home computers are, are kind of dropping away, uh, which is fine. Anything else we want to look at here? No, not really. But this is the big one. Yes, that's it. Although these little guys here are getting slightly larger. IBN in particular, the green chappy, and yellow cheap and great, the yellow chappy, are, I say, nibbling away. The thing is that a uh, big, uh, not big and great, <laughs> big and great, who are they? They don't exist. Uh, IBN have also released portables. They're not making a lot of inroads. They're only selling 51,000 of them. Um, that's in the three months since they released it, which was three months after I released mine. And their home computer... Yeah, they've released a new one of those. They're not in the PC market, though, by the look of it, actually, at all. Uh, everyone else is stuck in home computers, I believe. Biggs. Uh, yeah, your home computer. Uh, brutal. Uh, yeah, you, you guys are just kind of... Yeah, you're just not really... You're not really competing, uh, so it's IBM and cheap, really. Anyway, since the last episode, we have got a lot of new technology. If we look down here in the bottom left corner, we've got 80 nanomicron manufacturing, which reduces our costs significantly, so we can sell our computers for less. Not that I would want to, of course. We've got serial ports, of course, which gives us lots of new motherboard op options for connectivity. We have advanced heat sink, uh, which gives us a reduction in in heat obviously uh, but also gives us a boost in quality and prestige or some such the nickel cadmium batteries they're good for the power supply in portables and we've also got the three and a half inch floppy diskette drive so we've got that so what i've done uh, while you're away i've been upgrading all my components here uh, that uh, we that those technologies apply to so we've got a new set of video boards we've got some lovely new motherboards if we go to that, look at that, serial jumpers, 800 nanomicron technology, and it doesn't cost me any more to produce. In fact, it's slightly cheaper, even with the serial ports, because of the, that's because of the 800 nanomicron. Uh, the CPU hasn't changed much. The power supply, uh, the portable has gone up in expense because of the NICAD batteries, but the prestige is significantly more. Again, I'm not sure how much prestige appeals to my customer base these days, but, you know, it's better than having no qualities whatsoever. And the home computer and the, the PC and home computer power supply uh, is, again, that much better than it used to be. So we've produced all those. So obviously the next thing I need to do is produce a couple of new computers. Oh, before we do that, let's have a quick check of our research tree. 
Uh, where are we? If we open the queue, uh, we're currently... Oh, we are quite... Oh, my goodness. We are so close to the 386. Shall I wait for the 386? That's not going to take long to do, is it? It's a few more days. Yes. <laughs> I could do that. I'm making six... Oh, good grief. I'm making over six and a half million a day. I think I can afford to wait. And then we've got the overdrive processor. Uh, there's another couple of new technologies... Uh, which the, I've got them in sort of cheapest order here. Uh, protected mode support. Now that is an operating system upgrade, which is down here somewhere. Where's the software? Here you are. Uh, protected mode. Whoop! There you go. Protected mode support uh, gives me 20 feature points and over 12 and a half ease of use points. So that's nice. So that's always handy to have, and that will obviously apply to all my. Uh, computer type so we'll add that to the queue as well actually which is cool so we've got some research going on so what I've actually s thought about doing is upgrading some of my buildings here now I did just upgrade as our little message here said as you joined me in Spain I've upgraded our office to level 3 so I can upgrade I get this in research order. So I can upgrade the research lab here to level three. Uh, actually, uh, oh, I haven't, oh, Bangladesh isn't. Oh, no, uh, uh, hang on, what have I got here? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, level two in Peru, which is a poverty country. No, we don't want that because a level three research lab in Peru would cost me nearly half a million a day to run. Uh, whereas in a rich country, it, like Spain, it will only cost me just over 300,000 a day to run. So we'll upgrade that and that should give me another couple of research points. So again, I should keep ahead, hopefully, of the game of the AI companies uh, in terms of research and technology. And I'm thinking I could do with more logistics points as well to get those, those other countries. So we'll upgrade logistics there as well to give me more points. Uh, we could upgrade marketing, but I don't think we need to for the moment because I'm making so much money. The cost of marketing is, is kind of trivial. Anyway, we were going to make some new computers, weren't we? So uh, let's get IBM and Cheap and Great out of this list. We will produce a new PC. We haven't had one this year. No, so oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to wait for the 386, aren't I? Right, let's wait for that. Let us wait for that. As my share of the market slips to 85% less than that. Ooh, oh, this is oh, this is terrible. Terrible. You have researched a new technology. Right, we've got the 386 PC. Uh, CPU, that is. So what I want to do is... And I've only just upgraded these CPUs <laughs> to uh, to include the 800 nanomicron uh, and, uh, and the heatsink. Uh, so, right. Let's copy this. So this is going to be... We'll call it... 386 because that is what it will be again this can fit into the home computers the pcs and the laptops the portables so let's get rid of that and put in a 386 excellent so how does this compare in terms of performance and stuff it's not that much faster in terms of performance the quality feature set ease of use prestige that's much the same actually and it costs me 468. It's a bit cheaper to produce, but let's if we increase the base clock. Uh, let's should we take that up to 500? I think that gives me a nice performance boost. So if I go into my pricing here, I can see. Oh, yes, I'm ahead of the game here in terms of performance. Nobody else is coming close to me at the moment. So that's good. Now, in terms of pricing, now this is the component pricing, so you can sell uh, the CPUs for PCs separately. Uh, so that obviously takes up factory capacity, but does boost your profits. So can we leave this at the same price, 500? That's what I've been doing so far, I think. They, they all stay at this same price to start with. So we'll, we'll do that, actually. So we will leave you at... 500 but I'll reduce the costs of my other components uh, like this was the last one I created so we'll take you down to say 
or 450. I'm still making money on that one. That's the latest 286. Okay, uh, we'll actually remove this old 286. And I'll keep this old, what was it, 8088? Yes, it was. <laughs> oh, we'll leave that at the high price. We Actually, no, let, let's reduce the price a little bit on that. Uh, let's say 475. Yeah, for, for, for rarity value. That, that's why that, that's what they're paying the premium for. And we'll take our first uh, 286 off as well. So we've just got the three CPUs that people can buy. Okay, so we've got a 386. Excellent. So our new computer will be awesome. Even more awesome than they usually are. So the, P8, the PC, that's the one I want to get done first. So let's copy this design. It's going to be our first. PC of 1985, yeah, uh, no, 85, yeah, some, sometimes in these um, these boxes, the input boxes, the cursor bar disappears briefly. It happens in other games as well, and it's just confusing and frustrating, uh, but there you are, that's, that's the way of the world. Okay, so we will put in our latest memory in there, and the CPU will be you. Uh, removable media that is now ooh. do oh do we oh hang on what's going on here do I not have new removable media oh I thought I'm sure I'd done all this why have these all been archived did oh have I done something silly or is that a, a bug oh no archive turn, turn the archived off that's Oh, that's interesting. That archive button there, I must have clicked it by mistake somewhere on the line. And it showed only the archive one. Oh, so it's... Oh, that's interesting. So it does... This same dialog box is the one you use when you're adding hardware to computers by the look of it. So that upset that. Ah, okay. So if we go back to our computer, uh, 85 one, and we want removable media, that's better. Oh, that's, that's curious. Yes, so it's that archive button there. Yeah. Can you add archive components? I suppose you can. But we're not going to do that. We're going to add the latest one because that makes much more sense. <laughs> okay, the video card. Yeah, we've got a new one of those. Uh, power supply, a new one of those. Uh, we've got some new storage, uh, which is you. Uh, a new motherboard with serial ports. The display is the same. Or is it? Oh, we've got a new display. Oh, that's, oh yes, yeah, yeah, we have because the PC is quite old. And the operating system, that's new as well. That's cool. Right, uh, so if we compare that. Uh, actually, what we need to do, if we come out of there. So how does this compare? Oh, yes, to our old PC. That's so much better. Capacity is slightly better. Everything. Yeah. Ooh, quali oh, quality. I think. Does quality. Yeah. I <laughs> yeah. Progorian. Andrish. Andrish. The, uh, the developer did tell me about what goes. What is buffed or polished. <laughs> when you when you go through testing. And, I, and I've gone and forgotten already. Yeah, I'm sh shamefully bad memory. But yeah. Everything else is looking good on that one. So. Uh, how much are we going to charge for this? We could charge our standard 500. Or what I could do is say we're going to charge a premium for it. You know, for, for, when, it, for when it's brand new. Because that's what happens, isn't it? They will bring that down when, when we need to. Oh, what, sorry, I want to go to marketing as well, don't I? Uh, so we're going to market to casuals. We're going to go big or medium. Let's go big, I think. That way we can learn more about... Uh, what is useful, what is necessary, what is, <laughs> which of these things are important. So billboards, we'll leave that as very important. Uh, I think uh, we'll improve feature, uh, the, the feature focus, because we do have a good feature set on this machine. Oh, that is, that is excellent, yeah. Uh, and everything else, I think we will, yeah, that will do, I think. Uh, so we will test this machine. Your new computer model went into the That's testing phase. Awesome. 
And in the meantime, uh, we will create a brand new laptop. Uh, we'll come here, we will copy you, and you are our second laptop, 1985, with some new memory, a funky new 386 PC, you've got a new... Your building upgrade has completed. Hang on, hang on, have I not got... Why have I not got new input device for... Let's do that. Oh, it's archived. Now, if, oh, it's that archive thing again. <laughs> oh, dear me. Yes, pay attention, man. Right, so you're going to go in there. Right, good. Uh, the GPU, you've improved. The power supply, we've got the new nickel, nickel cadmium battery. Uh, storage, you've improved as well. I think. Have you really? Yeah, apparently that, that's the only one we've got. Hmm. Uh, the motherboard, better one of those. Display, we've always already got the latest. Everything else is the same. Okay, where are we going to market this to? Uh, I, we could do the same thing. Actually, what might be handy, if we look at our previous laptop, who bought it? Um, well, this is interesting. Workers. Oh, they liked it most. Right, let's see what happens if we actually focus our advertising, our marketing for the laptop on workers. Not that one, the new one. There you go. Uh, so if we focus this on workers, all right. Uh, we don't know anything. Actually, we do know something. I did make notes here. Give me a moment. Right, yes, according to the notes I made, uh, based upon this huge amount of uh, text help. <laughs> Workers like low noise, display quality, operating system, uh, features and ease of use. So if we put that up and that up, okay, and see if that works for us in advertising to workers. Yep, let's try that. Okay, and we will test the new laptop as well. Your new computer well. model went into the testing phase. And that's cool. And we'll wait for those to come out of testing. Now, if our building's been built, yeah, we've got the new logistics upgrade. What's going on here? What's, what earth is happening here? Right, why is America not buying my machines? Oh, that is terrible. I want a, I want a survey. Mm. One of your competitors went bankrupt. Yes! Our first bankrupt competitor, Massive Modules. Shame, it was nice knowing you. Actually, that's interesting, because they were actually ahead of the game very briefly uh, back in the whenever it was. <laughs> I guess. You they... don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Ooh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's pause the game then. Uh, yes, that they, they held the lead very briefly some years ago. But they obviously just couldn't keep up with the dominance of, of the rest of us. Uh, so we need to get rid of you. That's fine. And that maybe that's why America, that's why the green guy IBM has taken over the states. Mm. Let's have a look. Uh, have, have they got any new computers? No, there's still that. They've not released anything new yet either. Okay. Uh, and do I want to get into a price war? I think you know, their home computer is the same price. Actually, I don't think they're reducing their prices. Shall I do that? Just to tease them, to test them. Yes, let's do that. So our old model of laptop, we can sell you for a little bit less. Let's say five... 250. We'll take 500 computer technology dollars off the price of that and see what that does. Because our new models will be out soon. So this is a kind of new model kind of price discount and we'll change the price for our PC as well. We're still making loads of money from them. That's, that's not a problem. And I do need to uh, bring another factory back into 
production back into manufacturing so we'll bring Bangladesh out there you go so I've reduced my prices they've not they're still a bit cheaper than me which is okay Look your up. new computer model is polished right so the PC is ready to sell shall I sell that now might as well but before we do that let's get all our factories up and going there we go again in up I need in an upcoming update to the game uh, I can't say if it's going to be the next one or not but in the next update probably the next probably the next update uh, we're told that this sort of factory production level is going to be much more automated so that'll make my life if nobody else is that much easier <laughs> right our uh, new PC is ready to go. Release. Oh, heck. 120, 120 million demand. Uh, yeah, I cannot, I cannot get to that. That's awesome. Uh, oh, Mark, oh, one of them's not making money. Oh, dear, is that the old PC? Well, we could. Okay, uh, let, let's let's take it out of the let's take it out of the market then. Yeah, let's archive that one. What's not profitable? This is okay. So what isn't profitable? What's going on here? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, is it the laptop? Is it the laptop that's not profitable? I, I'm I'm not sure. Things it doesn't don't think it tells me which one isn't selling enough. Right, okay, I've got everything purple again apart from the US of A for some reason. That's very annoying. I don't like that. Mm. Okay, let's make our laptop that bit bit more expensive again. I don't. It can't be that. I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on there. This is very strange. How many of these are we selling? Everyone loves it. We're selling quite a few of them. Uh, ooh, demand is not so good actually. Perhaps we do need to uh, take the price down a, a, a little bit. Okay, because that is very expensive. Uh, no, 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 no. 5250. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Oops, don't drag that over there. And customer, no, it's release. Okay. This is very odd. <laughs> so I'm going to release mine then. Uh, yep, yeah, let's market this one. And we're away. And we've we don't got... have enough manufacturing capacity. I know. This marketing thing is bugging me. My market share is going back up again, and I'm simply not selling. I don't have enough manufacturing capacity to meet the demand. Because we could take the other laptop out. That could be that one that's, uh, yeah, not making money. So we'll take our old laptop out. So we've just got our new models of PC and laptop in there. Oh, the home computer. Maybe that's it. Oh, maybe it's this one. Okay, if we increase the marketing for that, will that help? Will people buy it again? No. Do I need a new home computer? Quite possibly. I, it must be this one. It must be this one. Uh, yeah, we're not selling any, are we? Here. Uh, what's the price? What's uh, our price competition like? Uh, cheap and great. Let's just look at the home computers. So mine is the oldest. 
Not by much, to be honest. Okay, IBM have released a new one more recently. Uh, and I am very expensive. My characteristics, my attributes aren't that great. Okay, let's try then. Taking the price down to three. Let's, ah, okay. Let's be dramatic in a price cut. I'm selling a few more. But not enough. Not enough. Okay, let's see. Do we need a new home computer? Uh, oh, we're in 1986 already. Oh, blimey, that was that was quick. Home computer sales have my, my home computer sales have dropped off, and global home computer sales. Yeah, nobody's buying them these days. Do you know what? I'm going to abandon the home computer market. Or ah, do I want to do that? I suppose I could. I suppose I could. Yeah, and that would free up some factory capacity as well. No, no, we're going to have one last attempt at the home computer market. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We are going to design a new home computer market for 1980s. A new home computer for 1986. And that will be it, probably. So what we've got there, our first home computer of 1986, probably the last and only one. And we'll put in our latest RAM, the latest CPU, a 386, a removable media, yeah. All oh, this is a significant upgrade on what it was before. There we go, power supply, the store. Why does it keep ticking archived there? I don't understand that. Hmm. Oh, maybe because I had it, to, I don't know. Let's, let's, let's complete this process and I'll worry about that later. <laughs> Uh, that was the storage, wasn't it? Yep. And the motherboard, one of those. Display. What's got archive there? Mm. And the operating system. That's a new a new version as well. Okay, this is yeah moderately expensive, I suppose. Uh, charge three grat for it, perhaps. Okay. Let's just check who bought our last one. And again, it was it was casuals. Yeah, home computers. They're they're they they're loved by casuals. You know the uh, the non the, the non-specific computer fan, basically. So marketing here, we will again focus on casuals. They're loving all this. Yep, that's good. I'm okay with that. So we'll test this one. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. There you go. And what I'll do is I'll take the old one off the market as well. And the marketing error, the marketing message has disappeared. Cool. Right. So that must. Have, I'm back to 89% of the market. This is excellent. I notice bigs have got South Africa now. Sneaky. But I'm not going to worry because I'm making 13 million dollars a day. So. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, right, uh, let's actually move into a few, few, few of those countries that were outstanding, shall we? Uh, so we had Nepal. Let's uh, open up an office there. Uh, just the one will do, I think. All right, I'm not quite sure why that said two. Uh, Nicaragua. Yeah, one of those. And Jamaica. We'll put one in there. Splendid. So it'll give us a few more places to sell stuff. Not that we're making enough yet, actually. Uh, can I upgrade any of my factories? I've got a level four here in Niger. Okay, we'll upgrade the office there, and then we'll upgrade that factory as well. I think, yeah. And we might as well upgrade our marketing as well. That'll give us an extra discount on marketing. But, a new technology. Uh, we're getting so much new research done as well. Uh, what's we that? don't have enough manufacturing capacity. Yes, I know, thank you very much. So what are we doing in research? Uh, okay, ball bearings. P 
PS2, the zip drive. Okay, so what have we got down here? So cooling, I think, is where ball bearings will sit, isn't it? There you go. And you will give me ooh, 20 quality. That's nice. And you're less noisy and less hot. You apply to everything. It'd be, be useful to have, I suppose. But not key technology, for, as, as far as I can see, for what we need to do. Uh, PS2, that's circuits, I think, isn't it? There you are, PS2. Oh my goodness, 200 features and 100 quality points. Yeah, we're going to do PS2. <laughs> there you go. And what was the other one? And uh, what was the... Oh, no, it was this here. Uh, zip drive. Uh, so is that going to be storage, I suppose? Uh, where's storage? Or data management. Oh, we haven't got oh, a three and a half inch dis... Mm, three and a half inch, inch dis disk bay. Uh, where's the... Uh, where's the zip drive? Ah, there it is. It's all the way hidden. Yes, it's on. It is on, as you'd expect, data management. Yeah, it's all the way over here. Yeah, hidden behind all these other dialog boxes. <laughs> that's the zip drive. Yeah, that's the, ooh, a 60 performance. Uh, oh, we'll add you to the queue as well then. So our research queue, it looks like this. That should keep us busy for a few days, I think. Yeah, that'd be good. And before we leave, uh, let's go back here, uh, keep the game running, and have a look at the stats for 1985. So in 1985, we made uh, 2 billion in profit. Looks like our best year yet. <laughs> awesome. Sales. Your new computer model is polished. Right, so our home computer is ready to go, and we'll set that off in a moment. Uh, yeah, everything is doing quite well there. My share, ooh, tailed off slightly, as we saw at the beginning of the episode uh, from previous years, but I'm way ahead of everyone else. That That's quite nice, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I won't worry too much about preferences for the moment. Customers, uh, yeah, I've just got it pretty much everybody and it's only IBM they're still sticking there they're still you know not giving up yet but 89% of the marketplace I'm very happy with that and before we go then let's release our new home computer into the marketplace and I think we're, we're actually what was the pricing of it I'm pricing it at 3000 I think that's reasonable. We won't we don't have enough manufacturing capacity that yet though. So <laughs> is this a good idea? Ow. Oh, yes, of course it is. It's a good idea. Let's release it. Your building upgrade has completed. Everyone loves it. People are buying it. I simply Your building upgrade has completed. Right, so we can build a level five factory in Niger. Oh no, I can't. I need the rec. I keep. Ah, I need the recreation as well before we can do that. Yeah, we do. Bother. Okay, so that's it. Slightly annoying that these green guys are taking over bits of the world again. But I've got 89. I'm going to have 90% of the market share, aren't I? So 90%. Awesome. So I'm going to stop the episode on that very point. <laughs> so there you are. Uh, so 90% of all the sales of computers and their components across the globe are from a computers by Ajax. I'm very happy with that. Thank you very much. So, and, and thank you for watching this episode today. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even better than that, though, would be to hear from you. If you've got anything to say, any hints or tips, recommendations, criticisms of what I'm doing with the game, I'm sure I'm making some odd mistakes and weird decisions. If you think I am, do let me know by dropping a note into the comments box below that would be awesome and of course if you've not already subscribed to the channel you could do that now and that way you'll know when i upload another one of these or any of my other 
the Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Computer Tycoon. Until the next time, bye bye for now. <laughs>